Oh my goodness, okay. I wanted to end my life and I found no way to be with my father anymore. When he passed away, I was crushed because he was everything. Raising me as a single father. And I always drove my car around not knowing where I was going. And I just felt like swerving the car and crushing it for immediate death. Wow. Um, yeah, I think I did feel like dying when I saw my dad in a coffin. I felt like, um, okay, so when he died and my parents were divorced, he was staying on his own and it was New Year's Day. I had bought stuff to, to have a party at home and I wasn't talking to my dad because I was pissed with him over something that he didn't have control over and it was damaging everything, it was damaging us, damaged the family, damaged him and everything so I was angry with him and I didn't talk to him, I wasn't talking to him and I was going to throw a new year party at home and then I got a call from a police guy who found him at home, had had a heart attack and I refused to go and see him and I sent my sister because I was afraid of what I was going to see, you know. And then I had to sort of collect my courage and I had to go for the funeral where they were going to cremate him. And I had to see him for the last time. And that was like the first time I saw him after he died. When they opened the coffin, I just wanted my heart to stop. You know. I think a lot of these thoughts, they are sort of fed by the fact that we feel guilty for not doing the things that we were supposed to do when they are alive and we feel that moment is gone you know and we can't bring that moment back to do the things that we are supposed to do for them and that's mainly why I think a lot of people feel like that but it's also the fact that they were their, your leaning block, your, your pillar and everything, and you feel like an arm has just been, like, you know, a limb has just been chopped off, and you have no way to breathe, and you have no way to walk or to talk, because your source of life is gone. But, hey, I'm still alive. I'm still carrying on my dad's legacy. And this is what his death has taught me again, that he left us behind because we need to carry on their legacy. And if our dads were not good people, I don't think we'd want to die when they die. So they were here for a reason, and I think we are put here for a reason. And wherever they are, I believe in this, right? You cannot destroy energy. It continues, it takes different shapes, it comes around. So I know that my dad is still looking down at me and I know that I do not want to disappoint him. And I will continue doing the things that he expected out of me. I hope to the best I can. And that is probably what I will tell people that felt this way because I've been through it and I know what it feels like. And time is a great healer, you know? And, you know, as I was saying, I, I do not want to forget the fact, I do not want to get over the fact that I lost my dad because he makes me feel things, you know? He makes me feel alive. He makes me warm inside every time I think about the fact that I've lost him. You know, I feel like a human being that 
has emotions and has all the drives and I thank him for that. Losing him has reminded me not to be a cold person, not to turn away from things and look away from other people's troubles, you know. That's probably what I would depart with in response to this.